Hunter, the former Aurora police officer convicted in the death of Elijah McLean, is sentenced to 14 months in jail. A jury found Randy Rodima guilty of criminally negligent homicide and third degree assault back in October. That jail sentence in the county jail is specifically for that assault charge. Now, McLean was originally arrested by police while walking home back in 2019. Someone had called 911 to report a suspicious person. While arresting him, officers put McLean in a carotid hold, applying pressure to both sides of his neck. Paramedics then injected him with the sedative ketamine. McLean went into cardiac arrest and later died in a hospital. Now, this was the first sentencing of those indicted and found guilty in McLean's death. Denver 7's Rob Harris was in court as that sentence came down. He joins us live in Adams County. Rob. Yeah, and Jason, in many ways, this sentence wasn't what either side had been asking for. Rodima and his attorneys were looking for no time behind bars whatsoever and to only receive probation. Meanwhile, the prosecution and Elijah McLean's mom were asking for the steepest possible sentence under the law, which would have been up to three years in prison. Instead, the judge sentenced Rodima to 14 months in county jail plus four years probation. He'll also have to serve 200 hours of community service. Elijah McLean's mom spoke to us after the hearing. She called this sentence a slap on the wrist. But I just want y'all to understand this is not justice. This is not accountability. This is just a slap on the wrist. Because what happened to my son was murder. Yes. This sentence was issued after hours of testimony. Rodima and his friends and family spoke before the judge. They said he's a war hero, a Purple Heart recipient, and has dedicated his life to public service. That's why they asked the judge for a lenient sentence. McLean, however, called Rodima a monster and a bully with a badge. She said he should have been sent to prison. Now, Rodima does have the opportunity to appeal the sentence within the next 39 days. His attorneys in court say they plan to appeal not only the sentence, but the entire conviction. Jason, Micah. For us, Rob, thank you. Now, three out of the five people who were put on trial in connection to the death of McLean were found guilty over the last few months. And we want to walk you through those verdicts. A second Aurora police officer involved in McLean's death was tried alongside former officer Rodima. Jason Rosenblatt was found not guilty on all charges. In a separate trial, a third officer was also found not guilty. He is now back on the job. Officer Nathan Woodyard has been suspended without, had been suspended without pay since September of 2020. That means the city now owes him more than $212,000 in back pay. The third and final trial wrapped up just before Christmas. Two Aurora paramedics were found guilty of criminally negligent homicide. Jeremy Cooper and Peter Chikuniak gave McLean a deadly dose of ketamine the night of his arrest. They will be sentenced in March. We have 360 in-depth coverage of the trials related to Elijah McLean posted up right now on our website. From a deep dive into the use of ketamine to an interactive timeline of events, the trials, the decisions, this sentencing, and more, just go to denver7.com slash Elijah McLean.